you know, my wife's the only person I ever told. I never told anybody, not my parents, not my brother, not my best friends, not my wife, nobody. I go in tears talking about it now. It, it's affected me. I'd like to think it hasn't affected me. I like to think I'm, I can tough it out and everything's okay. It has affected me. I will admit to it. Um, you just saw a little bit of it now. Um, I can't watch the bomb. Yeah, I was fascinated by the destructive kracht van atoombomontploffingen and toch the schoonheid ervan. En um, toen ben ik eigenlijk vanaf dat moment een beetje geobsedeerd geraakt daardoor en heel veel filmpjes gaan kijken en uh, steeds meer erover gaan lezen en ontdekt dat heel veel van de verhalen een beetje in de doofpot waren gestopt. It was it was so big and it, it looked it, the colors were beautiful and it's as I hate to say that you see this molten cloud changing color as as it it kind of turns within itself. Beautiful purples and lavenders and popping and blipping and just doing. And it was boiling and just orange and reds and black and gray and whatever. And it just kept boiling, rolling like this. And the higher it got, the more it flowed outward. And gaandeweg, it was a heel, heel long process, want it was heel moeilijk om the veteranen te vinden. Um, is er een documentaire ontstaan. Want ik wilde ze in eerste instantie gewoon filmen om ervoor te zorgen dat ik bewijs had. It really was the most... I'll never experience anything like it again, I know that. It was completely daylight at midnight. Brighter than the brightest day you ever saw. I cannot begin to describe the light that came into my eye. I was totally blinded when I came out of the blindness. I saw my hands, and by this time, I actually saw the blood vessels and, and my bones in my arm. You could literally just see every bone in there, everything. Even the guy's bones and his back that was in front of you. That's how bright the light was, to go from through the back of your head, through your eyes, and into your fingers, you're seeing your bones and your hands. How did that, how did it come through all that <laughs> to get to your bones? that you could visually see him, like an x-ray. Yeah, it has been a long time. I have tried to approach people on various ways, through, for example, comments on YouTube films, where people said that my father was here in the I have sent these people messages, and so I have also come to a man where I have been for a week, and he had told me several stories about his father. Had told him. En uiteindelijk ben ik in contact gekomen met de National Association of Atomic Veterans. En dat is dus uh, een organisatie voor en geleid door atoomveteranen. Maar dat zijn allemaal bejaarde mannen inmiddels. Want die, die jongens die waren in de jaren 50 waren ze ongeveer mijn leeftijd of nog jonger. En um, het is dus best wel moeilijk om te communiceren met die mensen omdat ze niet altijd met hun tijd meegaan. Dus sommigen gebruiken geen eens e-mail en de meeste waren al uh, overleden. De, de reden dat ik eigenlijk op eigen kosten naar Amerika ben afgereisd uh, om, om uh, de getuigenissen van deze veteranen vast te leggen was als ik het nu niet doe dan is het, is het gewoon te laat en dan kan het nooit meer.